and photographic film. The Supreme Court may have dealt a bad hand to Indian tribes engaging in gambling operations. Justices have ruled in a split decision that Congress no longer has the power to force Indian gambling issues into federal courts. Now, one industry observer says that the states are the winners here. It's basically the issue of who has control over gaming in a state. Is it the, the tribe? Do they have control over gaming in, on, on their reservation? Or does the, does the state uh, have any say in in uh, what kind of gaming goes on on the reservation. Mm -hmm. And this titles it. This says the state, you know, has, has more control over it than the tribes do. Florida Governor Lawton Childs says uh, the ruling is a major victory for the states, but an attorney for Florida's Seminole Indian says that the decision does not threaten the gaming industry there. Sudak, a major supplier, by the way, of slot machines, two Indian-run casinos, uh, not surprisingly feeling the pressure today, down three and a half to 21 and three quarters. Federal investigators have launched an investigation into Lytton Industries Guidance and Control Systems Division in California. Lytton spokesman Robert Knapp tells CNBC that members of the Defense Investigative Services arrived unannounced at the company's Woodland Hills headquarters early this morning with a search warrant. The firm would not comment on the nature of the investigation. Lytton's Guidance and Control Division develops and manufactures navigation and guidance systems for military aircraft, missiles, ships, and land vehicles. More trouble and controversy in the tobacco industry. CNBC has learned that Texas now expected to announce that it, too, will join those states settling lawsuits with the Liggett Group. Meanwhile, RJR Nabisco is fighting back with full-page ads attacking Bennett LeBeau, the one who orchestrated that Liggett settlement. The ads attack his record, saying that he bankrupts companies and has cost the tobacco industry billions of dollars in shareholder value since that settlement was reached. Earlier today, we had a chance to catch up to Mr. LeBeau. Anytime RGR was to sit down and let's compare the rates of returns for the shareholders, my shareholders have gotten 29% annual rates of returns. RGR shareholders have gotten zero. The ads did not mention that Mr. LeBeau is involved in a proxy fight to force RGR to spin off its food and tobacco businesses. Federal Reserve Chairman Alan Greenspan said today the economic expansion has, quote, staying power. Mr. Greenspan, during his testimony before the House Budget Committee, says that while inflation remains under control, there are st still some trouble spots. At some point, uh, it may indeed already be occurring, where uh, wages will start to rise uh, again at a pace which would be consistent with profit margins declining. Well, that talk about uh, possible wage inflation uh, certainly bothered the bond market today. Look at that, down 1 and 6.30 seconds, the yield up to 6.67%. Bonds initially moved higher on what appeared to be a rather friendly durable goods report this morning. The government said that orders for so-called big ticket items fell 2.5% last month. But bonds retreated after traders focused on the fact that much of the weakness was in aircraft orders. Indeed, uh, given that fall-off we saw in the bond market, not surprising that uh, the stock market would follow southward as well. Late in the day, we had program trades, uh, put, uh, curbs put on program trading. Uh, it did really little to, to at least mitigate the damage. We had been off uh, better than 50 points. We finished the day off about 43. Let's take a look at the particulars where we saw the Dow itself down 44 points at 56.26. If you're to take Mr. Greenspan at face value, he didn't seem to indicate there's a, any rush to uh, lower interest rates. In fact, there's a, a, a small plurality of economists with whom we've been chatting who think that the next move, whenever it comes on the part of the Fed, could be to hike rates, uh, albeit maybe way down the road. But, but of course, that concern paramount to uh, the very cyclically sensitive issues in the Dow. The transports, meanwhile, down 24 and 3 quarters at 2137.49. Utilities, though, the bond market uh, beating notwithstanding today, up one point. Uh, they have been itching their way back. A year-to-date down 4.3%, but keep in mind, early last week at this time, they had been down 6% year-to-date. So continuing to find a little bit of the technical support here. Uh, elsewhere uh, on the day, here's what we had going for you. A market breadth favoring losers over gainers by about a 270-issue margin. Uh, 794 stocks were unchanged. And uh, uh, the NASDAQ up about 4.5 points today to 1092.86, 438.4 million shares changing hands. The S&P was down four and a quarter. The Russell 2000 up about 0.70. The Amex at 5.68.30 was down 0.41. Well, if current trends continue, the amount of money in mutual funds will soon top the amount in bank deposits. By the end of February, the amount of money in mutual funds was virtually even with bank deposits at just over $3 trillion. As Alan Chernoff reports, there are advantages and dangers to American households. Americans are poised to benefit as never before from rising financial markets. More than $3 trillion in mutual funds, almost half of that in stocks. 
and billions more in individual shares. Investment advisors say that's giving Americans the potential for greater return at a price. Nothing comes without risk, and, and to do this, of course, one is taking more risk than one would be taking if one left the money in a savings account or a CD in the bank. Money in the bank is backed by the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, but the low returns from savings accounts and certificates of deposit and big gains on Wall Street convinced Americans to pull cash out of the bank and invest in the market. The public used to be more conservative, relying on FDIC insurance. Now people feel they have to take on more risk to get a decent return on their money. I don't have anything in a savings account at the moment. Why? Uh, the returns are minuscule. I mean, uh, I'd rather take my chances in any kind of mutual fund. But some people concede they're taking on more risk with their investments in the market than they'd like. It's fine now. It's not going to be fine later. <laughs> You're nervous. Sure. Who wouldn't be nervous? There's always a potential uh, for panic uh, in stock markets. And uh, the more that people have in the marketplace, uh, the more they're going to watch it, and the more if something goes wrong, they're going to uh, be subject to potential panic. Few analysts say there's much danger of a stampede out of the market right now. But if it keeps on climbing, and if investors keep throwing money at stocks, forecasters say eventually there will be a major correction one that could hurt many people who used to rely on FDIC insurance. Alan Chernoff, CNBC Business News, New York. Up next, Apple computer stock actually rose today, in fact, a lot. Is this a buying opportunity in the face of some worse than expected news out of the company? We'll talk to